Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing about Pearson Square. This is a tool that you can use if you are dealing mostly with solutions that you want to mix together. You can use this to, for example, mix a fruit concentrate with water and get the target degree bricks for your end product. So this is a tool which you can use when mixing two solutions with known concentrations. For example, like I've said, fruit concentrate and water. For most of the examples that we would be showing later, they would be expressed in degree bricks. When using Pearson Square, the answer that we would be getting is how many parts of solution A do I mix with solution B? We can also determine the percentages of solution A and solution B so that we can determine a target volume. For example, we want to mix 500 liters of this juice. We can use the percentages to calculate how many liters of the fruit concentrate we would be using and how many water we need to dilute it with. So we have here first example. Using a 70 degree bricks fruit concentrate, prepare 10 liters of 12 bricks fruit juice. So when doing Pearson Square, the first thing you need to do is identify the given. So we have here 70 degree bricks. We need 10 liters of the end product, the fruit juice, and it should have 12 degree bricks. So the first thing we need to do is create a square or a rectangle or whatever you want to call it. So we have here the fruit concentrate with 70 degree bricks. What we're gonna do is write the concentration of our first solution on the left side. So we have 70. We are going to dilute it with water. So water has zero bricks. So let's put zero there. And our end product, our target bricks is 12. So write 12 there. The next thing we need to do is we need to subtract it diagonally. So 70 minus 12, that would give us 58. 12 minus 0, that would give us 12. We still need to calculate how many fruit concentrate and how many water, how many liters of water do we need to prepare 10 liters of fruit juice. So interpreting what we have done, so you would need 12 parts of the fruit concentrate fruit concentrate and 58 parts of water. We can get the percentages of this solution so that we can calculate easily how many liters we would need for each. So to get the percentages, we, we just need to take the sum. So that would give us 70. And, and let's bring out our calculator. So let's calculate the percentages. So 12 divided by 70 times 100, that would give us 17.14%. We can subtract 17.14 from 100 or we can also do what we've done earlier, 58 divided by 70 times 100. So we have 82.86%. 82.86%. It should equal to 100%. So we have the percentages we need to get 12 degree bricks we need to multiply 10 liters to 17 percent and uh, 10 liters to the 82.86 percent that would give us that's 1.714 liters and 8.286 liters so to prepare 10 liters of fruit juice with 12 degree bricks starting with 70 degree bricks fruit concentrate we need to use 1.714 liters of the fruit concentrate and add it to 8.286 liters of water so that's how you do pearson square uh, let's have another example another example prepare 15 liters of juice with 7 degree bricks so we need to prepare 7 degree bricks from a fruit concentrate with 68 degree bricks so again again the first thing we need to do is draw a box the given right on the left side is 68 we're gonna use again water so that would be zero 
And our final concentration is 7. We need to subtract again diagonally. 7 minus 0 is 7. 68 minus 7 is 61. So we have 7 parts and 61 parts. Again, we would want to get the percentage. Let's add it. 7 divided by 68 times 100 would be 10.29. 10.29%. Here we would get 89.71%. It's very efficient to use person square when we multiply 15 liters to this. Change the pen color. That would give us 1029 times 15. So 1.54. 1.54 liters and 0.8971 times 15. 13.46. There, we would need 1.54 liters of the fruit concentrate and 13.46 liters of water. For last example, how many liters of 68 degree bricks fruit concentrate and 4 degree bricks sugar solution do you need to prepare 10 liters of 15 degree bricks juice? Let's start with a square. Then we write the concentration of our solution. It's 68. And this time, we're not using water. We're using 4 degree bricks sugar solution. So we write 4 there. And right at the middle, we add 15 because our target is 15 degree bricks. Uh, subtract diagonally, 15 minus 4, that's 11. 68 minus 15, that's 53. So to get that, we need 11 parts and 53 parts. You can get the percentage so we add it so that's 64 calculate the percentage so 11 divided by 64 times 100 that's 17.8 17.19 percent and we would have here 82.81 percent now we're going to multiply it by the amount so that's 10 liters we need 10 liters of the final product. So that would give us 1.719 liters of the fruit concentrate and 8.281 liters of the sugar solution. So that's how you do Pearson Square. It's quite simple and easy to use. So I hope you learned a lot from this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos about the science of food. Keep safe and stay healthy.